Good morning, uh, everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Mariana and Nikki, and uh, welcome to today's uh, seminar. So, my name is uh, Michalis Kalamaras. I am the founder of uh, eAnagnostis.gr and publishing uh, and the publishing consultant. And uh, I work in uh, digital marketing and content development for the Athens-based firm Thinking. Uh, in Greece, as uh, you very well know, publishers and book marketeers have been very active in uh, digital marketing for more uh, than a decade now. Uh, we are active across many channels with uh, Facebook be being the obvious king, but Instagram being the rising star. So today, maybe it is a good time to take a step back from our day-to-day -day work and uh, to contemplate and discuss our strategies and experience with the help from one of our colleagues in Germany. So today, Marco Ferelsdonk will share with us his experience in uh, digital book marketing and discuss digital strategy and best practice examples. Marco is the digital marketing director of the Cologne-based publishing house Kippenheuer und Witz, or for short, Kiwi. Uh, with uh, a background in humanities, he has a long experience working in publishing, and uh, since 2001, he works at Kiwi. He is now head of a growing digital uh, marketing team at Kiwi and responsible for digital strategies. Kiwi is specializing, as our motto goes, in good literature, critical, and popular nonfiction books. Many of the authors Kiwi publishes in German in German are pretty well-known names in Greece too, and Kiwi can be considered fairly comparable with bigger Greek publishing houses in terms of new books per year, backlist books, and number of employees. So we will begin with Marco's uh, presentation, which will be followed by an interview with him. After or even during uh, the interview part, Marco will answer your questions so uh, please feel free to post down uh, your questions in the Q&A box you will see. And I will pass it, pass it on, pass it on to Marco. And right next to that box, you can also raise your hand and toward, towards the end of the session, we will have some time for a couple of you to switch on your camera and pose your question yourself. So without, uh, with, without further ado, Marco, the floor is yours. Good morning again from Athens to Cologne. Hello, uh, Kalimera, and thank you for your uh, invitation and um, your kind introduction. Um, and let me say uh, that I uh, appreciate uh, being part of your book fair and uh, to have the possibility uh, to share some ideas and uh, to exchange um, and to learn something about the Greek book market uh, and to talk about marketing ideas and strategies. So um, this is the seminar we are in now. And um, I would like to um, start um, with uh, some words about the publishing house I'm working for, Kiepenheuer at Witch. Um, maybe you shorten it Kiwi, it's easier to to, to say for, for you, I think, um, to say some words about it because you know my background then and um, I would like to have um, a few words in general about marketing so because it's uh, important to know the context and the background where I come from um, because, um, I mean, it's quite a range to talk about marketing. There are so many topics uh, we can talk about and I probably offer you you see a short overview about the topics I prepared um, maybe it's um, so much that we don't have to go into detail uh, so uh, I will give you a quick overview and a quick walk through my presentation and so you can decide which topic is um, more important and interesting for you and so we uh, have questions and uh, you ask me and we go into discussion. Um, so 
feel free to stop me and to say, please go on <laughs> uh, or to, to focus and uh, feel free to ask, to ask, to ask. Yes, so we come into dialogue. So um, first of all, uh, something about Keep Moy and Witch. We are located in Cologne. Maybe you see the cathedral um, and maybe you know it. I don't know, but uh, it's quite famous. So <clears throat> the publishing house um, is next um, to the cathedral and um, Keep Moy and Witch was founded in 1951. Uh, we have a small imprint in Berlin called Galliani Verlag, Galliani Publishing House. Right now, Kiwi has um, about 78 employees, or exactly. We um, approximately publish 120 new books uh, a year. We have a huge backlist and, uh, uh, and eight, uh, 800 uh, authors with available books, at least one. Um, so I would uh, say we are an author's publishing house with a, quite a tradition. So some words about the publishing profile. You see um, fiction, nonfiction, entertainment, fiction, uh, German international literature. Um, you see some famous authors below, almost uh, fiction authors, I think. So very few nonfiction uh, uh, too. Um, yes, uh, we, we don't um, have the whole range of entertainment uh, uh, fiction. Um, I mention it because um, I, will, I will not talk about uh, fantasy mar book marketing because we don't, I could, but <laughs> we don't publish uh, it. But we are focused on crime series and entertainment and yes, I think we can say that we do critical uh, uh, nonfiction. Maybe if you have to, um, to, to, to say, you can say we're quite left, left wing uh, tradition uh, in political terms, um, critical books about society. So we also do biographies, of course, of popular artists um, and pop music and pop culture. So quite a range. Um, so, and this is um, on the right side, you see um, the website, but I don't have to show you. You can easily click on the link if you like to and um, watch the homepage of Kiwi. So just as I mentioned a few words um, before I uh, talk about the formats, some ideas before we exchange uh, practical examples, what of our everyday business of, of everyday campaigning, everyday uh, content marketing. Um, I mean, uh, it is quite obvious, but I, I do mention it. You have to think about your digital marketing strategy, of course, and, uh, and it depends on several factors, um, which uh, are mentioned here. Of course, the kind of publishing house and profile you are on your authors, uh, the target groups you want to reach and uh, your resources, um, which means time, um, the woman power in most of, most likely the woman power in a publishing house, the skills, the creativity, and of course your budget. But um, uh, because uh, I think you, it, it doesn't, it does not depend on budget and money at all uh, when you, when we're talking about ideas and creativity. So whether you have a big or small or no budget at all, <laughs> you always have to think that because you can spend so much time and you can waste so much time, even if you do try and error, uh, which we all do, um, you, try to, you have to try to focus on the goal of your strategy. And from my experience of 10, 12 years in online marketing and I built up um, the department um, in, at Kiwi. Um, I, I just would say there are at least four uh, big objectives and goals. Always think about what you do. Um, and I just mentioned them. It's about image, branding. Um, most likely um, you try 
and we are talking about the awareness and the reach of your of what you're doing um, then um, yeah you you want to have some you want to have followers fans subscribers so leads uh, to to get in contact and um, to to have a maybe a community or fans fan gating and of course uh, so otherwise we wouldn't talk about it here it's about sales and you like to 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 reach um, the um, uh, the customers so pre-orders clicks conversions they matter uh, and just keep it in mind i will mention one or two uh, of this um, buzzwords <laughs> so i start with um yeah, maybe just just a very, very, very uh, a quick overview of our social media channels and um, the goals, the strategy behind it and the figures. Um, but I don't go into detail and I don't visit the sites and the channels. Um, because of the structure, the program profile, we, we, we focus on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. They are all growing. Um, if you look at the figures um, uh, uh, with yellow, um, you see there's a, yeah, uh, fortunately <laughs> a growth in it. Um, and we think about the target group and um, the focus of uh, the way we uh, do content marketing um, or do um, postings and to um, and, and and how we how we do um, you know an, an an editing plan for each channel. Then of course we have YouTube too for our video content, and it's quite growing an awareness and a reach in this year too, and it has something to do um, with the the video marketing we did, and last not least of course we have a homepage. You saw it. Um, it is. Uh, information service it is branding uh, it is our homepage it's for b2b departments to get in contact um, it's there to there is also a, a, a button to buy our books to order it by affiliate uh, programs to the booksellers uh, web shops and um, yes we try uh, to to get some leads on it um, to registrations and subscribers and stuff, you know that. And the newsletter, I mentioned it too. We did a relaunch um, and um, yes, we, we tried to, to find out something about our subscribers, our fans um, with the profiles and the preference center behind it. But this is maybe too specific. So now um, I go to the first topic um, and to present you some some ideas um, about content marketing and video and audio in specific because <clears throat> um, this is a very shareable and emotional uh, content um, and yeah everybody knows youtube is the number two um, search and search website in the world or uh, after, after Google. So um, that is why um, you, you should think about video and audio content. Um, I mentioned maybe something you already know uh, about the formats, uh, even if you think about uh, the social media videos, cut it short. Um, um, there, uh, because the attention of the audience is like exactly like this, um, but there are other formats like video portraits, uh, reading recordings uh, that could be longer, of course. Um, and what happened um, since uh, the pandemic uh, and the lockdown situation is, um, yeah, a growth of live events. Um, we created a lots of Facebook events. We did a, a lot of um, Instagram sessions um, with, um, yeah, with authors uh, that are suitable. Um, and um, 
I, I, I just show you um, some, some screenshots here um, and YouTube live streams we did. Uh, we even did a show or two shows to present our books because um, yeah, the bookstores were closed or, and there would not be uh, readings uh, possible. So we did it on our own. That was quite uh, a thing <laughs> and we live streamed it in cooperation. Uh, this was called Show, Don't Tell. Um, in Berlin and Cologne, this was quite a thing. Um, and what I at least uh, don't, won't forget is um, the growing uh, attention in audio, of course. Um, so um, there is explosion of podcasts. Uh, and this is not just because um, the audio books uh, are growing in Germany, but the podcast uh, by media. So um, we, we, we uh, try to um, tell our authors to do podcasts, they do it themselves. But the, the good thing is if you, uh, if you have uh, interviews, um, audio interviews or um, live sessions there, um, you will find a younger audience and target group because um, we reach channels we haven't been before like Spotify or Deezer. So this is something I really want to, um, yeah, I really want to, um, to, to recommendate um, uh, what you can do with video and audio content and live events. This is what it was a boost in this year and it has to do with the pandemic situation uh, and um, the cancelling of analog physical events. So maybe uh, I go through email campaigning a bit uh, um, faster. Um, I mean, the good old email campaigning marketing, um, uh, yes, I say don't underestimate it because of your social media efforts because um, when you have subscribers and follow, followers by newsletters and email marketing, they are really fans. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, some uh, things about uh, the, the, the uh, editing, a plan, regular send outs, of course, with the deliveries we do, but we do lots of special newsletters and standalone mailings by special events. And um, now I would like to share some, some just a few ideas um, by you know, reaching new subscribers and new fans. Uh, it's also good for branding, but for lead generation. So you get new um, subscribers when you really do exclusive content and do something special. Just to mention two um, uh, things we did uh, we have a we have a best-selling author, a German um, actor, um, who was at Vienna at the um, uh, at the uh, famous. Uh, he's he's a very famous actor, and he's a very successful novelist, um, Joachim Meyerhoff. And we did um, offer pre-readings from his next uh, coming best-selling book. Everyone uh, is aware, <laughs> um, and, and everyone wants to read it. But um, we said you have to subscribe in the newsletter, and um, we we had a um, about one thousand five hundred new subscribers when we did in summer, so that was a great success, and I, I called it merchandising. <laughs> um, we had a book about uh, David Bowie's a list of books uh, three years because before he died, he made a list of the one hundred novels and books he was most influenced. He was a big reader. I did not know before. And uh, it's a nice book, not just for Bowie fans, but good tips in it. And so we did um, um, a trade poster, which you can see here, him lying there and reading. And um, um, we, we, we came to the idea to, 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 do, a sweep, to do a sweepstake, uh, to do a contribution for uh, our uh, newsletter subscribers. And um, wow, people ask us to, to sell this poster. <laughs> um, so we did uh, it again and again. We did two uh, sweepstakes with it and we had uh, thousands of new subscribers. So 
just uh, uh, last few tips um, um, for um, something um, more technically or um, from May marketing. Um, do cross promotion on social media for your newsletters if you have so uh, if you have special uh, 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 special offers and um, yeah they, they they like gifts of course not just information um, you you do pre readings um, and then some technical things yeah always uh, have an eye on catchy sublines do an A B testing of sub object of subject lies. Um, just to know uh, where is the, the better opening rate of your mail marketing. And um, yeah, interaction, you, you ask not just in social media, but do uh, a survey a year or at least two uh, to uh, receive some feedback about what you're doing. This is, um, yeah, they like it too. <laughs> so next thing, yeah, modern public relation, the whole range of um, the multipliers. Um, a colleague of mine f is focusing especially on that, about all the influencers, the bloggers, the booktubers, the podcasters, the bookstagrammers. So we established um, a, 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 a section on our website um, for them just to subscribe, to, to, to have this, all the services, to frequently ask questions. Um, so, and there is somebody personal um, to communicate communicate with them. It is very uh, intensive to do this work, of course, um, and you have to cluster and you have to check um, which influencer um, um, is really interesting for you. Um, and but but you do it in a very very um, uh, personally way um, so it is um, uh, because yeah I mean there are lots of bloggers uh, coming and they want our pre they want a, a free copy they want um, a review copy and yeah they they will get it we do a lots of actions and, uh, we do but we couple it and say please and have you have to uh, you have to um, publish your uh, reviews you do unboxing videos uh, when uh, you receive the copy um, and you have to talk about it in the web uh, you have to to post the reviews not just on your blog but on social channels or on community platforms just to uh, um, in it to, to have um, a start from word to mouth marketing because recommendation of the readers and the bloggers and bookstagrammers, um, we don't have to, to, to pay for ads. But you know, this is hopefully word, word to mouth marketing if they like the book. Um, and even they should mention uh, it on the product comments of booksellers' platforms, of course. So. And there are some events we also um, create and we invite them to come to the publishing house uh, once a year. Not this year, of course. <laughs> and um, I mentioned the Lit Block convention we did in Cologne with two other or three other publishing houses, uh, an event with 300 uh, bookstagrammers, influencers from, whole, from, from Germany, and you know we bring to, we bring we bring them together. We bring them together with our authors, uh, with our editors. It's about communicating. It's about coming together, like on a book fair. Okay, um, authors branding. Um, quite obvious um, that you, yeah, the author is the star. The author is the brand, not the publishing house, um, and. The, I mean, the authors who want it, who are suitable. Um, yes, you have to encourage them or you, you have to talk. You don't have to, but um, try to find out uh, if, they, uh, if, they, if they like to do online marketing and if they like to be present in the web. And then, um, I mean, everybody, um, 
um, knows that um, it is not just uh, given to everybody to, to be a public persona and to play with it and to always communicate with your readers. But um, yeah, this is author marketing, author branding marketing, and um, you can reach so many people because um, they are fans, they are readers, they are enthusiastic about them. Websites, personal newsletters, um, talk about the social media strategy. And yeah, if they want, <laughs> we have authors who do meets and greets, uh, or living room readings, <laughs> and uh, of course, web life events. Um, we talk about the storytelling, uh, the how to, how to do um, 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 the, the storytelling behind the book. Uh, to tell the story of how it developed, how to show where they write. To, to, they, they all want to, the readers and, and bookstagrammers, and they want to know about everything of their, fa of their favorite authors. So, um, and just a fun fact uh, <laughs> below, uh, you see this guy, he knows something about marketing. Look at his, uh, you know, haircut marketing. Um, and he's quite famous, of course, in Germany as, um, uh, as uh, a web strategy, as, as an author for Der Spiegel. It's, it's a big magazine, um, a weekly one. So um, <laughs> what he did is uh, he, he wrote a, he wrote a nonfiction book, a very, a very analytic book about our world and how it changed. Um, and, and he signed the whole first edition of this book. You see this number uh, below, this is a 20, 20 I think we, we had 23,000 um, copies and he uh, did it and he live streamed it on Twitch TV. Um, and, uh, you know, it was physically hard. <laughs> it's the way you can do PR and product marketing, um, yeah, <laughs> in a very, very crazy and funny way. Our signed copies, you see, there are thousands of ideas. I just mentioned a few. Okay, uh, maybe I go to focus on ebook marketing. I don't know the situation uh, in Greece, but, um, you know, we do ebooks since about uh, 2009, 11 years now. We almost have uh, ebooks from every available book now. Um, and our experience after we uh, tried uh, lots of things is that it has become in Germany a different, a separate, a second uh, 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 bookmark. And the readers are. Um, quite special because of the, uh, of the, the devices and they are, they read a lot, a lot of, they, they read more than maybe you can say um, uh, print readers and, and they focus on the prices. So price marketing in ebook marketing matters. Um, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure if you have fixed prices. I think you have. Uh, we have fixed prices in Germany too, but I mean, we are, um, as a publishing house, um, we have an agency contracts to the booksellers and we say, okay, the price uh, for one month is lower and play with the playing with the prices um, with attractive and low prices, I have, of course, to mention, um, attracts the ebook readers. So, um, what we do is uh, uh, something you, you, you might know, ebook first edition before the print book is published or do bundles um, to two or three books in one. Um, we, you don't have to spend much money in, in, in ideas uh, like, you know, ebook marketing. If you do um, a reading sample of the next book to come um, or the uh, the book before in the actual in in the in, in the in the ebook um, uh, you know it's in ebook market in book marketing uh, for another novel integrate links 
um, and if there is bonus content, um, it makes it attractive. Um, another idea, um, we did a so-called Kiwi preview, a book with samples of forthcoming books um, uh, for free. So everybody, everybody could read uh, four or five months before they are published. Um, and um, yeah, digitalize your backlist uh, because there's a, a long tail um, in it. Um, yeah, and it's not just for eBooks, but it's very important to, to check your metadata, of course, in e-commerce and online marketing. And um, uh, we don't often have any budget for eBooks, but this is the key metadata and keyword marketing um, to uh, arouse some attention for them. So next one, it's about money. Uh, it's about budget and uh, it goes from search engine advertising to really huge campaigning. Um, I just want to mention that search engine advertising, um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, of course, you know that. Uh, maybe uh, you can you can you can have 50 euros and have a great campaign if you do it at the right moment um, and we found out that it's always a good thing to switch Google AdWords when your authors are in the media people sit in front of the TV and Google the name of the of the author or when they hear something in the radio and they didn't catch the name right or just uh, uh, one word of the title like this um, and um, so we we do we do adwords um, on events and um, as uh, I mentioned when they are in the media um, and we had the, quite a success with that <clears throat> so and then um, if you find yourself uh, if you if, if you see that your postings or tweets um, most of most most of all, the Facebook and Instagram posts are successful. We do po sponsored posts, no, do not just posted, but we to reach um, more people. We do sponsored posts. It's not that expensive too, and uh, yeah, of course, the the other things um, uh, like paid social ads and video ads on YouTube, you, I think, might know, and. Then, um, yeah, uh, when, it's, when it comes to bigger campaigns for best-selling books, um, we, yeah, there is uh, uh, what I mentioned, uh, what is called the performance marketing and um, to, to switch programmatic ads. Um, this is quite, um, you know, a kind of science <laughs> and, and it's very technical. Um, and uh, you really have to specialize on it. You have to, ha to, have, to have a knowledge on this. Um, but um, I mean, it's obviously that you, you spend a, a big budget for awareness and sales. You want to sale, sell books with it. Um, and yeah, when, you have to do it regularly and you have to monitor it. Uh, you have to use tracking codes. Uh, in your in your displays in your ads, um, just to receive some feedback and to analyze it. It's very, it's an own seminar, I think. <laughs> so, um, but we um, we made some experience in the last year because our reach, uh, our organic reach in social media has grown. But uh, there was also a boost of um, the paid reach, and. Uh, and the insights we got uh, from the campaigning uh, in the targeting groups. Um, and we use it in, within the campaign um, to, to optimize um, to, in retargeting who sees the AdWords or the ads and the displays and um, to, to uh, optimize the conversions. And um, yes, we, we also, uh, use it for campaigns uh, 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 of similar books and target groups. But, you know, just as I mentioned, it's a known seminar and not just one. Um, okay, last slide. Oh, I'm much too 
I don't I don't have um, the time. Uh, it's okay, Marco. <clears throat> it's okay. Okay. So last slide. Um, I hope everybody doesn't feel asleep. I fell asleep in uh, uh, something that is quite obvious. We have uh, the on and offline world everywhere, also in the publishing houses. And we have um, at Kiwi a great um, offline marketing department. Um, um, but um, to be honest, we always um, think about uh, plans together. We campaign together. We talk about it. Um, so uh, this is why there's cross promotion, of course, um, and cross promotion offered by media brands, uh, like uh, just to mention two, Die Zeit, Der Spiegel, big weekly newspapers uh, and magazines, and uh, they offer us print and content and native ads, uh, and newsletter ads as a package. So we can have a bundle, uh, print and online. Um, and then I showed you uh, some some pictures about a campaign for a, an upmarket entertaining book, a father and son uh, a novel similar to Nick Hornby, uh, what he did in the 19th and, and uh, years. And um, it's called Panda Tage, so uh, Panda Days, um, with quite a visual, key visual, and we spread it all over, you know. You see um, out of home, in sc on screens, on posters, um, display ads. We put a QR code on the, um, on the printed ads and on the posters to, um, to learn more about it. Um, and there were reading copies in cinemas in the towns we focused on uh, where the targeting group is. So um, last two uh, bullet points. Um, let's talk about uh, lead generation. Uh, um, very simple way, postcards and of sweepstakes, or we, uh, we have lists at physical readings of our authors for people who want to register and subscribe. This is, of course, on and offline too. And uh, cooperation. Um, I mentioned, um, um, I would like to mention two ideas. Um, there is a, a Swedish uh, biological or uh, fashion label called Gudrun Söden, and they have a target group about um, the one that is the number one readership in Germany, women, 50 or 60 years old, 50 years about, maybe late, uh, older, and um, they, they, um, um, they do have um, uh, some flyers of our books when they uh, send out um, uh, the, the fashion uh, to the customers. And um, so we have a deal with them. So it focuses on the target group. And then <clears throat> we have a very, very successful um, uh, Regio crime series, series uh, which is located uh, in France, in the Bretagne. And um, um, uh, Jean-Luc Banalek uh, is a pseudonym of a German author, very successful. Um, and um, the German readers uh, go to the Bretagne uh, with um, the crimes. And, you know, it's like a, a travel brochure or it's like a... Uh, a travel, a trip advisor for them. And there is um, uh, Brit Britannia Reisen, uh, Britannia Traveling. Uh, they cooperate with us. Uh, and um, this is um, a, a very, very, uh, you know, we, we, we have uh, nine, nine books of Jean-Luc Banalek. And this is such fun to cooperate with them. And it is such a success um, because they reach, um, yeah, exactly, our target group. Um, so this is the last thing I want to mention about cooperation. And then I think I'm through. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. Thank you, Marco, very much. I think it was uh, uh, really uh, both detailed and uh, I think very, uh, you opened up 
the books <laughs> of Kiwi for us, giving, giving us examples and uh, good practices, and also, uh, I think, mapping uh, you know, the digital uh, marketing uh, landscape. And uh, I think also it was, uh, in a way, a checklist that uh, many people could use to uh, ask themselves what of uh, these things I am doing already, I want to do, I should do, or maybe I should not do, but uh, anyway, uh, it is very uh, important. So uh, I would go, uh, we will go on to the um, uh, interview sec uh, part. And, uh, but first of all, I would like to uh, urge everyone to ask uh, questions at the Q&A box. Uh, there are a few, but I think w there are many more to be asked because you mentioned many uh, social media channels, newsletter, off online and offline marketing. So uh, I, then there is a great experience to be uh, shared here. And, but uh, I will start with the uh, interview. Uh, part and uh, ask you first of all you mentioned that uh, uh, you are the head of the department you are in for almost 20 years in Kiwi yes. and uh, I was wondering in all these years how the department evolved and uh, how maybe also uh, you know uh, but uh, how many the employees involved and how many uh, the percentage of spending let's say and effort also uh, in digital and non-digital marketing has uh, changed uh, through the years. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so um, I didn't start uh, uh, in uh, an online uh, marketing department when I started at Kiwi because mm -hmm. uh, it was not existing. So, mm -hmm. um, and I started in, um, yeah, uh, after um, uh, some, um, some um, stations uh, in uh, uh, the editing department. Um, mm -hmm. um, after two years and doing, um, so I always was interested in, um, in public relation too. So in the press department, um, there were uh, uh, some, some um, campaigns uh, um, that I was interested in too. And then I, I had a talk about um, the future, of course, with my publisher and with my boss. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. we found out that there is a need um, to, um, to do more um, online marketing or to do online marketing. We had, mm -hmm. of, of course, a website, and, but there was no strategy. And mm -hmm. um, then uh, we decided to... Um, to search for another colleague who can mm -hmm. um, um, be next to me to the content marketing, you know, I'm talking about the time uh, before Facebook. <laughs> okay. So, so, and then we started and um, we started with two people uh, and when social media um, came up um, and um, we developed uh, the first, the first book trailer and mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything, um, yeah, you know, um, had to be um, to be uh, discussed in a way that it is uh, that is what are we in what direction are we are we developing and mm -hmm. growing? But at least you know it took us about now 10, 12 years to to have a department of uh, five people. Today, five. Mm -hmm. We are five colleagues, um, and we are um, part of, of course, the marketing department with uh, the print colleagues, uh, and next to the sales department, to the press department, um, we are the one who are the marketeers in and who um, do the communication mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the advertising, um, and so it developed very slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it has to do uh, with, um, I mean, I think a publishing house like Kiwi, um, uh, um, we are interested in, um, you know, doing um, um, books um, that, 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 um, that are not just successful, but, mm -hmm. you know, um, that are interesting for young readers too. So, um, 
and we, we try to be in, innovative uh, in our editorial uh, uh, efforts and, and, and selling books. Mm -hmm. But the way we have to do it, um, that was quite clear after um, a few years. Um, we have to use the channels uh, where the people get information, get interaction, and this is more and more online. So mm -hmm. the last so, uh, point you, you asked me, uh, it also, it also yes. developed develop the budget, of course. Mm -hmm. you mean, I mean, if you have five colleagues, um, um, yeah. Yeah, yes, you can think about the personal bu budget, and, um, but um, the budget in marketing, it changed too. So um, mm -hmm. there is less, um, I mean, uh, marketing um, uh, is, has grown um, uh, in the whole and I mean, there's a little bit less uh, in print advertising um, and um, yes. So, so, this it's is, not, yeah. so it's not so much that, uh, that you have taken money, let's say from the uh, traditional marketing, marketing and put it to the digital marketing, but that the marketing uh, in general for your for Kiwi has grown, as I, yes. I understand. Yes, it has okay. grown. Um, sales grown too. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, okay. um, That's good. But yeah. <laughs> and um, I mean, the press department effort is also uh, always a very, very mm -hmm. big big point and big issue uh, in successful campaigning. And mm -hmm. the thing is um, to think uh, not in departed um, sections, but mm -hmm. to campaign together. Yeah, okay. to yeah. Um, that's that's um, the art of the art of doing. I mean, it's not rocket science; it's marketing, but uh, it's yeah. the art to to do a good setup and um, to have a good plan and to talk with each other about the ways yes. we do it. And um, yes, but mm -hmm. it, 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 it shifts to online mm -hmm. in, the, in okay. the last years, so definitely. So I think it was, uh, we are really glad you were here to share, uh, I mean, from your experience and uh, your learning from all these years. And uh, I think it was also uh, a great uh, sessions of uh, seminars during Let's Talk. All the seminars I think were really useful for book professionals.